Kundiawa Gambok District in Chimbo Province will be the first in the country to roll out the drought rehabilitation exercise. Member for Good Kundiawa Gembok, Tobias Kulang, signed a memorandum of understanding with the National Agriculture Institute recently to facilitate programs in the district. Mr. Kulang said half of the 2 million Kina disaster funding is used on relief supply, while the remaining will be funding the rehabilitation program. Charles Kekeng reports from Lei. The member for Kundiawa Gembok, Tobias Kulang, while signing the MOU with the National Agriculture Research Institute, said the disaster relief funds must be used wisely since this period of the drought is unpredictable. Mr. Kulang said better waste situation is likely to occur in the affected areas if the government funds exhaust. Apart from supplying beds of rice for now, that will probably run out in a couple of weeks, what else can we do? Addressing this drought technically, the Kundiawa Gembok district is purchasing relief supply to rescue its people who were currently suffered and is engaging the National Agriculture Research Institute to facilitate self-sustainable and rehabilitation program using the disaster funds. Uh, through the MOU, we want to believe that we can address the issue of food security and food, so food shortage, shortage uh, for the short term. Uh, intermediate and the long term. Director General of the National Agriculture Research Institute, Dr. Segi Bang, appreciated the engagement with the district and will deploy his team into the district in a few weeks' time. Nari is keen to work with uh, those districts to help them in getting planting materials uh, multiplied and is available for when uh, rain returns so farmers can. Uh, obtain this to go ahead and uh, grow, grow food again in their gardens. Nari will distribute the drought resistant seedlings, conduct trainings of irrigation methods and other rehabilitation programs. Meanwhile, the member for Kundiawa Gembok is calling on the National Weather Service, which is currently under the National Civil Aviation, to be made an independent institution and be equipped to provide accurate information for the nation to prepare for future disasters. Charles Kekeng, NBC National News, Lee.